Open the bonnet, identify where you would check the engine coolant level and tell me how you would check the engine has the correct level. Here is the coolant tank and the minimum maximum levels. If the coolant is below the minimum level then more coolant will need to be added. To do this I would unscrew the cap and pour in more coolant until the maximum mark is reached. Please note you should always ensure the engine is cool before removing the cap. Open the bonnet, identify where the brake fluid reservoir is and tell me how you would check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. I would release the clip, remove the cover. Here is the brake fluid reservoir and I would check the fluid level against the minimum and maximum levels. Show me and explain how you would check that the power assisted steering is working before starting the journey. If the steering becomes heavy, the steering may be faulty. Before I start a journey, I can make two simple checks. Firstly, I can apply gentle pressure on the steering wheel and maintain this whilst the engine is started. This should result in slight but noticeable movement as the system begins to operate. Secondly, I can turn the steering wheel after just moving off and this would give an immediate indication if the power assisted steering is working correctly or not. Open the bonnet, identify where you would check the engine oil level and tell me how you would check that the engine has enough oil. On this vehicle model, I would check the oil level using the onboard computer as it uses a virtual dipstick. Please note, the pupil will not be expected to operate the computer. To add engine oil, I would unscrew the cap. Open the bonnet, identify where the windscreen washer reservoir is and tell me how you would check the level. Here is the reservoir. I will lift off the cap and make a visual check of the level as there are no external markings on the reservoir. Show me how you would check that the horn is working. I would press the horn and listen. Please note, you should only check the horn when you are off-road. Show me how you would check that the brake lights are working on this car. I would apply pressure to the brake pedal and make use of any reflections in the windows, doors, etc. Or I may ask someone to assist me. Tell me how you would check that the brakes are working before starting a journey. As I move off, I will check the brakes. They should not feel spongy and the car should not pull to one side. Tell me how 
how you would check that the headlights and tail lights are working. I would turn on the lights and the ignition if necessary. I would then walk around the car and check that the lights are on. Show me how you would check that the direction indicators are working correctly. I would activate the indicators or hazard warning lights and walk around the car to see if all of the indicators work correctly. Tell me where you would find the information for the recommended tyre pressure for this car and how tyre pressures should be checked. Usually the information will be found in the car's manufacturer manual. In the BMW, the recommended tyre pressure can be found on the driver's door pillar. I can check the tyre pressure by using a reliable pressure gauge when the tyres are cold and then replace the valve caps. On this vehicle model, the tyre pressures can also be checked using the onboard computer. Show me how you would check the parking brake for excessive wear. I would apply the foot brake to control the car. I would then apply the parking brake. When it is fully applied, it should secure itself and not be at the end of its working travel. I will then release the foot brake and the car should not move. Tell me how you would check that your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. The head restraint should be adjusted so the rigid part of the restraint is at least as high as the eye or top of the ears and as close to the back of the head as is comfortable. However, some head restraints are not adjustable. Tell me how you would check that the tyres to show that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. A safe tyre will have no cuts or bulges. The tread depth should be at least 1.6mm across the central three quarters of the breadth of the tyre and around the entire outer circumference. Show me how you would clean the windscreen using the windscreen washer and wipers. Here is how I would clean the windscreen. Show me how you would set the demister controls to clear all of the windows effectively. This should include both front and rear screens. I would set all of the relevant controls, including the fan, temperature, air direction and heated screen to clear the windscreen and windows. Tell me how you would know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system. The warning light should illuminate if there is a fault with the anti-lock braking system. Show me how you would switch your headlight from dip to main beam 
and explain how you would know the main beam is on whilst inside the car. I would operate the switch and check the main beam warning light is on. Show me how you would switch on the rear fog lights and explain when you would use them. I would operate the switch and check the warning light is on. I would use the rear fog lights when visibility is 100 metres or less.